Hey guys, and welcome back to the HVAC Shop Talk channel. We're going to continue to test out some smart probes, and we're out here at the Pender Memorial Baseball Park and Soccer Complex to test an open air distance. We want to see how far these things can go with no obstructions, and we're going to use my Babe Ruth baseball field to do that. So join me out there. We're going to call out the testos first. Let's see how far they can go. Guys, I'm about to fire up the Testo app. I have the Testo's lane right here at where home plate would be. We're going to march out into the field and see how far we can go. And I'm going to run the app alongside so we can see them as I walk out there. It's funny to be walking through here again. I actually played ball right where I'm stepping. And it's funny to be back here so many years later testing out these smart probes. And one of the things I wanted to do was just take it out here where there's no obstructions, no interfering signals, basically the best place to do an open air test. So Testo Smart Probes is something I've looked very much forward to using. I've been really advocating for a second generation had a longer range, so I'm very excited to be able to do this test. So here I am out there. I've just passed the second base area. I'm continuing to walk, and I'm just very excited about trying to figure out how far these are going to go. And as you can see, they're starting to drop out, and then they're disconnected right there. And this is me back here waving from my spot where they are disconnected. And they're starting to reappear. I walked out just a little bit farther than second base and all of them disappeared. I walked back a little bit and a few of them reappeared. And now they started to reappear as I got past the pitcher's mound. So unfortunately, it didn't really go all that far. Interesting. So the test I made it just a couple dozen feet beyond second base right there. So we're going to actually go ahead and leave my marker out there, which is my towel, and see how the UEI does against the Testo. And if the UEI wins, we'll pick up the towel and move it back and go against the field piece. Next up, we're going to actually do the field piece. I already have them set up here, have the app connected, and all my numbers are showing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same walk out there and see. I'm guessing we're going to beat the Testos because they didn't really get that far. I'm kind of surprised by that. I expect a little bit better out of the second generation Testos, but we'll see how the field piece does out here. Maybe there's some kind of ancient Indian burial ground that we're on top of that's causing this problem. You never know, right? Let's take a walk. One of the things that I want to encourage each and every one of you guys to do is to pay special attention to the apps on the screen and whether or not you like how they're set up. Some of these tools are compatible with MeasureQuick, and a lot of you guys will use MeasureQuick, but I think you ought to be at least accustomed to the actual app just in case you have to use it. There's a variety of differences between the three apps here. I personally have my favorite, which we'll discuss on a different video, but make sure you're kind of following along and seeing how each one of them looked, if it's something that you like or dislike. And right now I'm passing the point in which the Testos, as you can see me waving the towel right there, so we're gonna walk beyond the Testos. There was a minor blip there while I was walking out, but I think that's all it was, was just a minor blip because these probes actually went very, very far. This is a full-size baseball field. I played on this field from the years of, well, you know what? It was a long time ago. I played from about 13 years old to 15 years old. It's 300 plus to left and right, and probably 330 or 40 to center field. I actually go through the gate in center field and continue walking. You'll see that in just a minute. These probes had an excellent, excellent range. You can actually see I'm way, way out there right there near the fence. And I'm about to give you a little wave here in a second. You'll see exactly where I am, but it's way, way far out. All I can say is wow. Wow, wow, the field piece whooped ass on that one so far. I don't know about the UEI, but the Testo pales in comparison. The field piece went beyond the home run fence, went out of the ballpark, beyond the batting cages, and I'll show you where we ended up here in just a second. But let's try the UEI, see what it can do. Our final set of smart probes to test is the UEI Hub 6. Now the field piece blew the Testo out of the water, so I'm kind of curious what the UEI is going to do. We have the UEI sitting in the same position here at home plate, and I'm going to start taking my walk once again. 
One thing I want to clear up right off the bat about the UEI smart probes, which are called the Hub 6. The first time we did a little distance test at my house, I had a little glitch there with them where they were disconnected, and I was speculating that it might have been the batteries. Well, after doing this test, I realized, yes, in fact, it probably was batteries that were getting low or almost dead because our distance was really, really good on this test. Now, the disappointing thing is we're going to walk past the testos and leave the testos behind. And that is a huge disappointment because I was actually looking very much forward to those doing a great job compared to the first generation. And it just wasn't there. It's one of those things that has been a really big disappointment because with their line of tools and the quality of their tools, having that really long range would have meant that field piece is in trouble because along with that and their wide range of tools, they are also compatible with MeasureQuick, which is really, really important to people. In fact, I saw guys online that won't buy tools if they're not compatible with MeasureQuick. That being said, I really do like the UEI app. You have two different screens you can swipe between, you don't have all the data that you would have with Measure Quick, but you have pretty much all the data you're gonna need on a daily basis to do your service calls. It's really about how much data do you actually want and whether your gauges are accessible to Measure Quick, which has been an ongoing debate. We'll continue to talk about that, but I think it's a pretty attractive tool and a pretty attractive app. And you can see we're getting to our max distance out there beyond the field. The UEI went a long, long way. Not quite as far as the field peaks, but still got out of the ballpark actually. And both of them blew the Testo up. So Testo definitely came in a very distant third in this particular test. Field piece came in first, UEI close behind in second place. Now I want to show you where the field piece made it to. I want you to see exactly how far that actually is. Okay guys, I'm on my phone over here because it's easier. I just picked up my son from Repping soccer. It's kind of toasty out here. Feels feels good out here, but there's a lot of mosquitoes. All right, I digress. So I wanted to show you exactly where the field piece went. So there's our field behind us back there. We're gonna take a closer look at that, and I'll show you how far it went. Now here's the field, guys. We're way behind it. You can see up there where that blue scorehouse is at is where the tools were. Now this is a full size baseball field, so it's at least you know 320, 330 to center. So. Both the UEI and the field piece made it out of the park. The UEI ended up right over in this area. But with the field piece, I walked all the way over there to the corner and I couldn't go any farther because of the vegetation. So that's a good 400 plus feet at least, a little bit more than 400 feet. And you know, I didn't want to go too far because of our snake population. <laughs> but the field piece knocked it out of the park, literally and figuratively. So did the UEI, they were over in this area. So both those tools outstanding with distance. The Testo, way up there awful testo awful uei field piece good so i just wanted to show you guys how far it was it's kind of crazy it is a long way up there so both those tools will do a great job as far as distance <laughs> 